everybody, this is Stacy. I have a little uh, journal share for you today. This is actually a traveler's notebook and a friend's mother-in-law is going on like a 30-day vacation overseas and she thought it would be a great idea to have a little journal, uh, have her have a little journal um, uh, to take along with her. And so this is also a mother, early Mother's Day present but anyways, I thought I would share this with you today. So this is kind of um, carpet bagger style, I guess. <laughs> and um, uh, Nick the Booksmith coined that term and I really like it. So I have this kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like a chenille tapestry kind of, uh, you know, material, maybe like a, what do you call it? you know, drapes or couch fabric or whatever. <laughs> so anyways, it's really, I really like it a lot. And it, it totally reminds me of carpet bagger material. So um, on the front here is a little book plate that I put the uh, word adventure in. And then also around, all the way around are these little straps and I did this with, oh God, what is that called? Oh, Craft Tex. Um, so Craft Tex looks a little leathery, but it's really kind of like, I don't know, it's like a paper that, if you haven't heard of it, um, it's like a paper that kind of doubles as uh, an ax. It acts like material and it acts like paper. So you can sew it, you can do glue it, you can do all kinds of stuff to it. Um, what I did here when I made these little straps is I cut them out and I actually um, I did the sewing and then glued them uh, down with some really good uh, glue. So I also have this little brass um, embellishment. These were, I think, literally from the dollar store and uh, they had little gems in them. I popped them out, um, punched a hole in them, and then I put the, uh, I put the large eyelets in there. And I did that on both sides. And then, as you can see, it has a uh, ribbon closure, seam binding ribbon closure. So when you open it up, it is lined on the inside with a muslin type of fabric that's called, I believe it's called Osnaberg, if you're looking for this. And um, it's kind of an unbleached deal and it has um, different col little sprigs of different colors in it and little seedy things. And uh, it's, it's really cool. It's one of my favorite fabrics to um, use when I'm making projects. But also in the middle of this, sandwiched in between these two edges here is um, another sheet of craft text to kind of give this, uh, to make it sturdy so it's not like flopping around. So on the inside pocket, or on the inside, I did kind of a, a pocket here. Um, so there are several little like card slots, you could say. Um, and this will fit credit card, driver's license, or whatever, in case she doesn't want to, you know, carry anything around but this. Um, you can put a little strap here at the top because I have a little hook here. So um, in the pocket, I put some things from Graphic 45's uh, travel collection. What is that called? It is called, oh, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Anyways, so it's their travel thing. It came out, I don't know, maybe like a year or two ago or something. So I just have these cute little um, cards in the pocket. And there's a little tag. And all these have something on the back, whether it be a postcard or someplace to journal or whatever. And then uh, this is full of vintage ephemera. So uh, I couldn't tell you the years on these, but they're really cool. Um, we don't use punch tickets and stuff for anymore, but this is... Uh, the Pennsylvania Railroad Con Conductors Exchange Check. And so that's kind of cool. And then this is an old luggage label, and I believe these are from Europe, but this is how they used to, um, you know, mark the mark your luggage to tell where, uh, to tell in the transfers and different things of where it, it, it's going to go. And then there's a little stamp here. So I also made uh, a place to put pens and uh, maybe a, 
a glue pen, that kind of thing. So here's this little mesh pocket that I made and uh, I put some little trim on it and it's held closed with the magnets. So there's magnets under here and here, but this is a nice pocket so I could put all kinds of stuff in there. And also made this little bookmark. So this is just a piece of like suede that I got at the craft store. And then I had these little uh, things in my stash that I attached on here. And the whole thing is attached to this ring here. So you can see that. And again, with the graphic 45 paper, which I thought would be absolutely perfect for this project. And some more ephemera. Here's another ticket. This is, oh, I'm not sure. I think it's probably a bus ticket. Um, and that is from the UK. There's lots of coffee dyed paper. I think I've got, I think there's 40 pages in here total. So, um, some of Tim Holtz's little paper clips. There, here's a label or an old sticker from, uh, Braniff Airlines that's been out of business since I think the 80s. There are also some quotes and some stamping in here and this one says, up in the clouds on my way to unknown things. And then I have some map paper and I have these little uh, prong clips. I've stuck one in here um, so it can easily add, um, you know, other things from the trip, you know, can, can punch holes in them or add extra paper or whatever. And then more coffee dyed paper. This person that is the recipient of this journal is not really like a junk journal per se person. So it's junky, but it's not junky. <laughs> I just wanted it to have kind of an old world vintage feel. Like it, it's been around, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, so by the time she writes in it and puts her own ephemera and stuff like that in it, it'll look really cool. Um, more graphic 45 paper, which I made a double sided envelope. So I did the little, um, this is waxed uh, string. And so there's a pocket to put, another pocket to put things in. And there's some stamping. So this is, um, I believe this is one of Tim Holtz uh, stamping or stamps. These are Tim Holtz stamps. <laughs> I can't talk, whatever. You guys know that. These are Tim Holtz stamps. Um, so obviously the ship and the bon voyage, uh, there's an old airmail label. Cause I don't know why it is when we think of travel, we also think of, you know, maybe like postcards and sending mail and mail traveling across the world. I don't know, but so <laughs> I stuck that there. Um, here's an old bus ticket from, I don't know where that's from actually. I have no idea. So, but that's kind of cool. And more papers. And here's the other part of that envelope. So, yeah, I won't open it. It's the same as the other one. And, oh, there's another quote somewhere I missed, I think. I think there's two. Let me see. What was the other quote? Let me find it. You guys probably saw it and went, wait a minute, what's that? Unless I didn't get there yet. Okay. So. No, I didn't get there yet. There's the other half of that map. Oh, this is a replica of an old luggage. Um, the stickers that the hotels used to put on the luggage. Or somebody used to put on maybe the trains or somewhere. That way that your luggage got to um, the hotel. So I thought that was cool. And then um, here is another quote. This one is, to move, to breathe, to fly, to float, to gain all you give, to roam the roads of lands remote, to travel is to live. And that is from Hans Christian Andersen. I thought that was a very cool quote. Graphic 45 paper. And then right here, I did a little uh, flip open. There's a little arrow here. And here's just a place to do some more journaling and, you know, or maybe put a picture or both. And that holds that closed there. And here's a page with different um, postal stamps. And there is another 
UK bus ticket, which is pretty cool. The different colors. Oh, and a quote. Of all the books in the world, the best stories are found between the pages of a passport. Uh oh. Okay, I had to let the doggy out. <laughs> it seems like lately when I've done, when I'm recording these, she has to all of a sudden go to the bathroom. That's okay, it's better outside than in the house. So more coffee dye paper, more graphic 45 paper. Um, there's a train stamp here. And that is also from that same Tim Holtz set, I believe. Here is a ticket for uh, Brewer's Motor Service. And I also believe that that is um, overseas too in, in the UK. So very cool though. I love the old, I love the old tickets. Everybody likes the old tickets. There's another one. <laughs> I, could, I could have rolls and rolls of these things. I just think they're so cool. So here is a picture of uh, the Titanic of all things. <laughs> She's not going on a boat, so it's okay. And then we have more from that, more stamping from that Tim Holtz uh, stamp set, that travel stamp set. Um, little postcard from the Graphic 45 collection there. And this is an old playing card from uh, Hilton, obviously, when they used to do that. This is probably, I don't know, it could be as late as the 80s. It's not very old, but um, I made a tuck spot out of it. I thought that was kind of cool. And it fit the travel theme, so lots of blank pages. Here is another quote. Life is meant for spectacular adventures. Let your feet wander, your eyes marvel, and your soul ignite. I like that one's a good, too. That one's a good one, too. And then this is um, some Tim Holtz uh, ephemera there. And that's it. So she has a place to put her name because here's the Ex Libris and it's just blank in the back. But that is my traveler's notebook or carpet bagger traveler's notebook <laughs> share for you today. Um, I am working on some leather bound mini junk journals and I hope to have those done really soon for you to see. Um, I already kind of did a uh, you know, an experimental one or a prototype one, and that is on my Instagram if you're interested in looking at that under paint water. Um, yeah, I know, it's not Florida sandpaper, it's paint water, but, <laughs> so if you're interested in looking at that, I think it's adorable. They're about like this big and they're so cute, and I used repurpose leather for that. Um, so other than that, yeah, I'm, I have some other projects in the works too. So, um, today is Thursday. You guys have, it's almost the weekend. Hope you have a great weekend and I will see you back here real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.